hated us. We could wipe out, yeah, we could wipe out the British because that's like revenge, but yeah. Actually, if I treachery that, that's a pretty good attack. Um, so it's using treachery there. Um, gives us pyramids. And that's about it. What are these cards? Timber. Oh, Wonder of the World. What the hell? Really? Okay. Propaganda. This would give us two supply, but there's not really any way to put the new things. We need to take over something first, and then we can support. Um, like if I, mm, I'm thinking if if I go Inca first, then in theory I might be able to do a treachery overrun somewhere here. Maybe. Doesn't look like it though. Because this doesn't link up to anything other than this territory here. So like the linking territory is the capital, which obviously if I can take the capital, it's just gonna kill them anyway. Um I think with British I wanna just use a shit ton of cards because it's gonna be a sea battle. Um, what cards do I have? Like, I think I want to just use mercenaries here and like rush across the water at the start of the game. This one I can probably use tech, although I might need a sabotage, which I don't have. Then again, these are reinforcement armies, they're not defending armies. So. It's not as high pressure. But, like, strength at 8 territories are really rough when they have any kind of army there. Unless you play lots of cards. Romans, Nubians. Romans would be. not very useful, actually. Now that I think about it. Nubians. Wouldn't be too bad. I could play like a double Eureka to help me out. Maybe just one Eureka would be enough. Alright, let's do that. Did I treachery this? Hmm. Nah. I'll treachery that. And then again, this isn't a difficult fight. Hang on. Right, I'm gonna save. Just to see what this does. I can't put question marks. Alright. Um, if I treachery one of... Well, I guess that one doesn't matter. This. Does the army just disappear? It does. Interesting. Oh wait, no, it's in the capital. Well, okay. <laughs> so that doesn't really accomplish anything. Also, I put 14 instead of 15. That's going to be confusing. Alright, so... Hmm. If I take over the British, I could put a supply center here. Oh, no, I don't even need that. I don't need an army, I can just treachery this, and then attack Lakota. Maybe that's better. And just leave Inca for last when I have no cards. Although I'm gonna have a lot of tribute. I don't know man, this game's too hard. Tribute in city as well, jeez. I'm, I'm genuinely worried this it's just this fat. Battle is too difficult to, to pull off. So. Let's do this instead. Uh, that way. And 
we'll just use mercenaries and try to overrun them. Maybe stick a Eureka in there so we don't cap on um, everything. Population, resources. I need a citizen out there early to build a dock as soon as I can get it up. I guess these guys might as well just explore for now. Oh, actually, no, they really need to be out in the front. I want a foothold. The citizens. Very inconvenient placement. Despotism, go away. As soon as they're done, I don't know if I'll get this territory or not. I might not be able to get it until I build the temple. Oh, no, just barely reaches. Good. Uh, I'm gonna want some tanks. So let's get some oil going. How much? 115. Ugh, <laughs> oh, that's pretty brutal. I don't really have anything else to do. Build faster, damn it. Not really near Puff Cap, which is a little bit surprising. Um, gonna need that. Lovely. Cross the seven seas. And hope that they don't have any naval defenses yet, which they probably should by now. I need a senate. Shit. They're at the coast already. I'm fighting with no patriot. Actually, might make more sense to go. They're both expensive. To go granary lumber mill. Okay, I'm just gonna chill there until my patriot arrives. I'm thinking I'm gonna go despot. I'm playing aggressive. A few of them got past. This boat not very tanky by default. <sighs> Fuck. I need a third city here with a temple. Also need some metal production, which I think I'll do here with a smelter. Losing people, not too many, which is good, but still more than I'd like. Put a city there, I might be able to get a border there with a temple. And then I can build a fort. And then we're golden. Shit. I need to get healing going on these guys, but I need them to stay there as well. 
get that, that'll help my portal push. <laughs> I don't even have a market sell buy yet. Because I don't have a market yet. Seriously, that's the only anti-tank rifle I have. Holy shit, that's bad. On so many levels. Actually, don't get that. I need the uh, market up. not manned. I guess this guy can go do that. Ah, oh, it's not quite enough. Need another level of civic. So many food, I can do that. Belly. Need my guys to move up so they're in range. These tanks are pretty fucking rough though. I'm gonna lose this fight if I stay, I'm just gonna pull back. Uh, I can't deal with those tanks. I don't have any anti tank buffed. Okay. Wealth as well, of course. Fuck, leave me alone. <sighs> well, I've got my beachhead, so I should be fine now. I am very commerce capped though. <laughs> Attacking the city they are. Mm. Get a tower. I don't really mind if I lose that city as long as I hold everything else. To be honest. Get a fort here. Temple, unit production. Oof, machine guns. What the? Need more food. is on the way to being done. Some oil production. <sighs> this place is in a bit of trouble. Although, if I build some tanks they'll be fine actually. <laughs> Switch default stance to defensive. Oh, geez, they're pulling back. Well, this will be interesting. I need 
tier two of that yesterday. Just infinite queue though. I some metal while I can. Or 40. I don't think that's worth it. Getting a little bit of creams. Need the city to take more of the blue. I also really need CEO actually. The range bonus. Oh jeez, my uh, caravan situation is atrocious. Now I can get that, which will help once I've actually finished it. Okay, attack left, attack right. Uh, I think left is easier to attack. Oh, I'd prefer if you didn't use the nukes, but <laughs> I guess I can't really stop you here. There we go. Oh, that's not really pointed. Odd. Still have my scout. Oh, the CG. Okay. Well, guess we're pulling back now. Six oh seven. Too well. Do they have everything? Dudes at my mine. Like so. And these guys can build farms. Plenty of tanks, plenty of anti tank, not much anything else. Six. Uh, yeah, I can do that. Where's my fish rich? I need that commerce though as well. Please no. <laughs> Farm, farm, uni, 
What's up? Anyone died, that's good. And I can just place the mines the other way. They'll figure themselves out, I hope. Where doesn't the refinery heal? Alright, that's the next. Um, uh, plenty of front line, some anti-tank, some infantry, and some machine guns. Okay. And back to stand ground, now that we're all happy. That should be a pretty good comp. I mostly just need some siege now. Why did I buy metal? Mm, okay, I can go for that. Easy way to get that much wealth, not really. And one of these farms is not being worked. Okay, mm. upgrade that, and then grab some of those. Then upgrade them, and build a supply wagon, then build more of them. I can sell not much, but it's enough. Is the capital probably here? If I just slowly push the fear, <laughs> uh, thank you for the compliment. Uh, my hair is partly bad because my headphones make it look really weird. Um, like I don't know if you're familiar with Audio Technica AD series headphones. They're popular among like FPS gamers, as I used to be a TF2 player. Um, the the headband on them isn't solid. Like it's a it's a wing design. So like instead of having a solid headband like this, it has like two parts like this instead. And what it does is it makes all your hair bunch up in the middle, and it makes you look really weird. Like, my hair's not great other than that, but like, it goes from sort of not offensively bad, but not good, to just looking really weird. Um, and the longer I use the headphones, the worse it gets. So, if I've been playing games with the headphones on before, and then I start streaming afterwards, I'm just gonna start looking like, kind of retarded. And there's not much I can do about it. Like, I can move my hair back, but over time it'll just slip back, because there's nothing keeping it in place. He killed my merchant. Dick. Ah. And my caravan's a toast. Well, that's fine. Because I have siege now. Um, they're coming from here. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, earbuds. Uh, I, I use earbuds when I don't need a mic, but like, I, I don't want to use earbuds with a mic. It's really hard to like, understand yourself properly because of the... Like you don't hear yourself properly anymore. So like... Oh, plus like, it's just difficult to use this specific mic with earbuds and this is the best mic I have. So it's kind of really awkward. Um... Five seven eight. 
Who's dying? Shit, my tanks are actually dying. I just assumed they'd be fine, but <laughs> clearly not the case. I guess being hit by the city and the fort is a bit much. Siege. I should pull back a little bit. Get them out of range. Take out the fort and then move towards the city. And then just like sweep across. Yeah, I don't want to use a webcam mic, dude. Webcam mics are generally not good. And even like decent ones are not nearly as good as a real microphone. Like, don't get me wrong, this microphone is not like top tier, but it, it's solid. And it'll like cut out the noise of my clickety clackety mechanical keyboard. So, you know, do what you have to. I'm willing to put up with my hair looking kind of retarded for the sake of being able to stream. <laughs> Ooh, I need to move in. Just a little bit. Take the pressure off my siege. My tanks are getting creams, but I don't care because it's time to start infinite queuing them. Everyone else. Oh, my machine guns got slaughtered. I guess I don't need them though. Can you even beat Motor Robot? Oh yeah, Motor Robot, so difficult. Dude, it's it's the end of the campaign. I kind of can't be bothered anymore. I'm really just here to get it over with. Not gonna lie. The best part of the campaign, or well, the campaigns in general, for me is the board, the cards, and the like tactical missions, the ones where it's not a conquest. That's like the best part. This stuff where like I just rush over to the other side of the map, put a city down with Civic 4, and then just slowly cream this guy while being super, super lazy. That's not much fun. I'm not much of a grind it out kind of guy. But just for you, I'm gonna build a fisherman. Just to show you I'm taking the game seriously. Just just one fisherman. I'm not gonna put him any fish. Because that would be too much. That'd be too much care. We're just going to put him here, and we're going to say we're taking it seriously now, so... This guy will sit here as a tribute for you. If I could rename him, I would, but I can't, so, you know, you'll have to live with it. I'm sure you understand. For some reason, my anti-air is all dead. They must have rally pointed to a weird spot. I mean, it's just bombers, but still. Not me. You got me there, buddy. Not me. I don't watch my own stream. That's not actually true. I watch my VODs. Sometimes. Not like all the time, but just now and then. Um, to see how the stream went. And see how levels were. And hear myself talk so I can figure out how retarded it sounds. A One lonely man. Can I build a temple there? No. Oh, I can! God. That's retarded. Oh, don't be a dick, man. That's my only fort. That's my only siege factory. I hate the siege factory's life. Oh, I don't care then. More into you. Why don't you do a fucking paper on caravans? Funny you should say that, Mr. HE is Grenade. You can go to mhloffy.com and you can find out exactly how caravans work. Cause for some reason nobody on the fucking internet decided to figure it out themselves. Don't know why. Wasn't that hard. Well, it was it was time consuming, it wasn't like complex. You just have to like test all the interactions. I don't I don't really understand why I'm allowed to build a temple there though. Like, I just boosted the city's HP by like 14,000. Like, why am I allowed to do that, man? Would like another howitzer. Fun fact howitzer is my favorite siege unit in the game. Rocket artillery is technically better, but the howitzer is the biggest non unique siege, like, single, single hit siege unit. 
So you just get this massive boom, it's very satisfying. I'm gonna say about there is about right. And we're too fat, so we're just gonna do that. And take this off in from the queue. As a personal little thank you for watching, I'm gonna send this fisherman to fish. And he's gonna he's gonna fish up some salmon for you. And then I'm gonna burn the salmon and I'm gonna serve it to you while he nukes my capital. Again. Yeah, so there's nothing built here. I'm not gonna move the caravan though. And I'm gonna blame his death on you. You can call the family. Uh, that fort's kind of annoying. Actually, I want two of you to still hit that. Nuke the fisherman. I don't have nukes, man. Y you're thinking too hard about this. If I have to build nukes, then the raw strategy is too much effort. Far too much effort. I'm just here to cap this city, cap his capital, like on the map, not not this map, like the risk map, and then just move on to the last two guys and finish the game. I think I can do it tonight. I think I have enough cards to like just totally annihilate one person and then do a real fight for the second one. Which works just fine for me. Um, I think I'll double stack them. <laughs> These guys are so fucking fat. We need some more territory there, right? I remember I must span the globe. Otherwise, what's the point of ruling? I better miss our silo would not research nukes. Because nuking fishermen, fishermen is it's pretty rude. Like on a scale of having someone ask you to play a Rise of Nations game and you not responding for two hours to Nuking Fisherman, you're right up on the edge of that scale with Nuking Fisherman. You are solid Nuking the Fisherman on the Nuking the Fisherman scale. That's how much of rudeness you're like outputting into the world. No, don't nuke your own Fisherman. That's like taking a nuke and then shoving another nuke up inside it. That's just like, that's how rude that is. And you're, you're shoving the nuke inside the other nuke without consent, so that's like just extraordinarily rude. I'm just going to pick up- no, I'm not going to pick up the ruin. I'm going to build the temple next to the ruin. See if my guy will pick it up himself. Off build. Off build. Nice, no, I'm going to do it. Okay. Don't worry about the temple then. Upgrade everything else before it's too late. No, I don't want to research nukes. Let's get a rocket. Rockets are cool. Nukes suck. Reported for talking about nuke rape. Okay. You go ahead and do that. How many people did we lose? 80, that's quite a lot. But now we can move on to important things like defending against the Lakota who are about to attack us. I'm pretty sure that's what they're about to do. Oh, what the fuck? Dude, Lakota's retarded. <laughs> they had that. They absolutely had that.